Hello and welcome. This video will show you how to connect TrinkDisk Cellular Communicator G16 to a UTC Interlogix, formerly Caddx, NX4 panel and Protegis apps. To begin, let's go to page TrinkDisk.com. Here, click on Products. Find the Communicator G16 and click Product Details. From the Download section, download Program Treat Disk Config and Communicator's User Manual. Install the configuration software. Open the communicator's casing with flathead screwdriver. Insert a SIM card into the SIM card slot. Connect the communicator to your computer with a mini USB cable. Launch the TrickDisk config software. Press the button Read to read device parameters. In System Settings window, select the panel type you are connecting. In our case, Interlogix NX4. Enable Remote Arm Disarm for remote control from Prodigious apps. Go to User Reporting window and select Enable Connection for Prodigious Service. Go to SIM Card window and enter the SIM Card PIN code and APN settings. Press the buttons Right and Disconnect. Disconnect the USB cable. Screw on the antenna. Now let's wire the communicator to the control panel. Before starting, make sure panel's power supply is switched off. Connect control panel's positive contact to communicator's DC plus contact. Connect control panel's common contact to communicator's DC minus contact. Connect control panel's data contact to communicator's data contact. The security system has two areas. To enter programming mode, press in keypad star 89713 pound. Enter settings for the first area by pressing the shown buttons. In third segment, all settings must be selected from 1 to 8. Enter settings from panel internal events by pressing the shown buttons. In third segment, all settings must be selected from 1 to 8. In fourth segment, all events must be selected from 1 to 7. Enter the settings for the second area by pressing the shown buttons. Exit the programming. In keypad, press exit two times. Let's go to protegis.eu forward slash login page and log in or register. In systems window, press add new system button. Here, we need to enter device unique ID number, which you can find on the back side of the communicator. After entering, press Next. Once the system is added, we can test our installation. In Events window, we can see the first incoming events. 
arm, disarm the system locally with keypad to receive them. In area window, we can press on area and arm or disarm the system. Our installation is complete. Thank you for watching.